Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and this is a continued series featuring the Sofa Baton U2 Universal Remote. Uh, my absolute favorite, favorite Universal Remote because it just does everything you'd want a Universal Remote to do, and it's just so simple to use, and just everything is logical the way it's laid out. I just absolutely love it. And uh, in this video, particularly, we are going to look at how you can customize your buttons. Once you have a remote control set up, you're able to customize what the buttons do uh, on the remote for any particular device, including controlling other devices, as well as you can set up macros. And so we're going to cover that as well, how you can set up a macro to do multiple things at once. So for example, one button push can turn on your TV, turn on your receiver, uh, turn on the Blu-ray player, and get ready to go. So uh, let's jump over the video where I will show you how all that works. So now I'm going to show you how you customize uh, any of the buttons as well as set up macros inside of this. So we're going to, you can see I've got all these things programmed in here and you can see you can just scroll to whichever one you want. I'm on TiVo, I'm controlling TiVo, I'm on Apple TV, now I'm controlling Apple TV, I'm on various, that's various accessories, Denon, that's my receiver, so you can control um, anything. So. I'm going to set the remote over. I'm already connected to the remote inside the app and we're going to go to Blu-ray player and we're going to go to remote keys. Now you can customize any of these keys. It's connecting to see what keys are programmed. So I'm going to hit the volume up key and I'm going to say that I want to uh, reassign this remote key. You can either learn from an original remote, you can create a macro or reassign. I'm going to say reassign and I'm gonna go Denon, that's my receiver, which is what all my sound is passing through, and I'm choosing volume up. And then I'm gonna click done. So now, whenever I'm on the Blu-ray player remote, the volume up key is going to turn the volume up on my receiver. Hit the volume down key, and same thing, reassign remote key, Denon, and then volume down, and then done. So you can see it's really easy to reassign the remote keys. You could pick any remote. You could see when I hit that button, I could pick any remote I wanted to pick, uh, which is great. Now this is the little TV button that's up at the top. I use this as a macro. So I'm going to hit that and I'm going to say macro. Actually, I already set that up. I think, okay, so here's the deal. That one button, that's a dedicated button. Uh, you can see on your remote, it is above your selection. It's not part of the main remote. And the reason is because that one key, it will be the same thing regardless of what remote control you're on. And I've already programmed a macro into this to do my basic TV turn on stuff. So I'm gonna use a different button in order to do that. So that key, you program it once and it's applicable for every remote. It's the only key. All the other keys change when you change to a different remote. That key is one key for any remote. So it's TV by default. You could set it so that it turns your TV on and off. And uh, you could make, once you program it, it would turn your TV on and off regardless of what device you're controlling. And that's the advantage of it. I have it programmed as a, mantra, as a macro for initially turning on my TV. Um, but let's program another macro. So down here, you have an E key. So I'm gonna hit that key and I'm gonna say create macro. And I'm gonna hit the steps. For the first step, I want to power off the Blu-ray player. So I'm going to Blu-ray player and then I'm gonna have that button. So it's gonna turn the power off. The next one is LG TV. I was looking at the LG TV remote and I want it to power off the TV. And then the last one is the Denon receiver. Pulling that up. And once it gets that up, now I'm gonna hit the power button. So basically what I've done, and I'm gonna click save and now I've got a macro. It'll power off the Blu-ray, power off the LG TV, and power off the Denon receiver. And you can see that's now programmed. Red indicates that you've uh, programmed a macro into that key. 
So really easy, as you can see, to customize the keys. You can change them to another key on the current remote. You can change them to do something from any of your other remotes, or you can create a macro that does multiple things from multiple different remotes. Really easy to set that up. So you can see, really easy once you get your devices in there to then go back and customize the remote for any of those devices to work exactly the way you want it to. Change buttons to do different things, uh, change buttons to control uh, other devices, so you're on Apple TV, but you want these two buttons to control the volume on your receiver or your soundbar. Uh, so simple to do, as well as customize uh, any button to operate a macro and uh, execute several different commands uh, in succession. So uh, really, really easy to set this up and just customize it to be the perfect remote for you. And one of the many reasons why I just absolutely love this remote. That's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any questions for me, post them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or favorite this playlist so you can keep up with future product reviews. That is going to be it until next time. So be safe and be happy.